My name is Eva, and my high school boyfriend Sebastian tried to take complete control of my life. Most people told me that it was cute or sweet, that he was just being protective of me. My parents brushed it off when I told them that he makes me text him once an hour, or else he would accuse me of cheating on him in front of everyone at school. My older brother laughed at me whenever I told him Sebastian would threaten to spread rumors about me if I didn't do whatever it was he wanted me to do. I felt bad for him though. He didn't have a lot of control over things at home. His dad worked long hours, and his mom had to stay in bed a lot because she's sick. So he was left alone to watch his little sister after school, or to take her to dance classes on the weekend. So I thought, maybe it wasn't so bad if I let him boss me around. I rationalized it, saying that it wasn't ever about anything big. So what's the harm? He just wanted to know who I was hanging out with, or if I was with my family. He said it's because he's worried I'm cheating on him, but maybe he was just insecure or concerned for my safety. When he wasn't blowing up my phone or saying crazy things, he was sweet. He would give me a ride to school every morning, help me with my homework that I didn't understand, talk on the phone with me for hours, and take me on nice dates whenever he'd get away from home. I knew he didn't like talking about his home life, so I didn't ask. But when I didn't, he'd get upset with me. He'd ask me if I cared about his feelings, if I loved him, or if the whole relationship was just some game. It drove me crazy, but if I was honest, it also scared me a little. One night, when he was driving me home from a football game at our high school, he exploded. My mom had been texting me all night, but I hadn't heard my phone. When I turned the screen on and he saw all the notifications from her texts, he freaked out. He pulled over and grabbed my phone, demanding that I unlock it so he could look at my texts. I kept telling him no and asking him to give my phone back, but he just wouldn't listen. Eventually, I convinced him that I was just getting texts from my mom, not from some other guy or even my friends, and he drove me home. I thought I was okay and that I wouldn't cry, but the second I heard my mom calling my name from the front door, I burst into tears. She asked me if I was okay, and I told her what happened in the car, even though I knew she wasn't going to believe me. I was so surprised when, instead of brushing it off like she always had, she went inside and called the police. A couple of officers came to talk to Sebastian who, of course, denied everything. And since he hadn't damaged my phone, there was no way to prove that what I said happened, happened. My mom kept watching Sebastian like a hawk, so he stopped coming over to see me. I knew I should break up with him, but I was afraid he'd actually hurt me, or himself if I did. So I was as nice as I could be to him. I let him look at all my texts without any argument. I even listened to his opinions on how I should dress and wear my hair and how I should spend my time. He controlled my entire life and I let him. I didn't know what else to do. He was too smart to actually hurt me because he knew that would be a dead giveaway to my parents and the police. And then I realized most of the demands he placed on me came through text, and he got upset with me any time I deleted them, because he thought that that meant that I was hiding something. That meant I had copies of everything he ever texted me, including the threats of ruining my reputation and accusations of cheating. My mom and I printed out the texts and took them to my principal and then the police. He didn't get into any legal trouble, but my principal took me out of every class I shared with him, and the school issued a ruling that prevented him from coming near me without getting suspended. After so long of feeling like I was walking on eggshells around the person I was supposed to love, I felt free. It was amazing. If you know someone who has gone through a similar situation, share this video with them to inspire and remind them that there is a way out for them, just like there was for me. If you have a story like this, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to see more empowering stories and support this channel.